Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, July the 6th. It's the week of the fourth Sunday after Pentecost and week one in the Psalm cycle. Please join me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Alleluia. Psalm 119. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Blessed are they that keep your decrees and seek you with their whole heart. They do no evil, but walk in your ways. You've laid down your precepts to be followed diligently. Oh, that my steps were firm in the way of your statutes, that I shall not be ashamed when I heed your commandments. I praise you with an upright heart as I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes. Do not forsake me. Alleluia. How shall the young remain sinless? By taking heed of your word. With my whole heart I sought you, O oh, let me not wander from your commands. Your word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Most High, teach me your statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced to do your will, as if all riches were mine. I will meditate in your precepts and have respect for your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your words. Alleluia. Be generous with me, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold the wonders of your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul breaks, longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the proud, who stray from your commands. Remove from me reproach and contempt for I have kept your decrees. Rulers plot against me, but I meditate in your statutes. Your will is my delight, and your laws are my counselors. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, blessed are the undefiled, who walk in the way of the Most High. Alleluia. Deuteronomy chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. These are the words that Moses spoke to all Israel beyond the Jordan, in the wilderness, on the plain opposite Suf, between Paran and Tophel, Laban, Hazareth, and the Zahab. By the way of Mount Seir, it takes 11 days to reach Kadesh Barnea from Horeb. In the 40th year, on the first day of the 11th month, Moses spoke to the Israelites just as the Most High had commanded him to speak to them. This was after he had defeated King Sihon of the Amorites who reigned in Heshbon, and King Og of Bashan who reigned in Ashtaroth in Edri, beyond the Jordan in the land of Moab. And Moses undertook to expound this law as follows. Yahweh our God spoke to us at Horeb, saying, you have stayed long enough at this mountain. Resume your journey and go into the hill country of the Amorites, as well as into the neighboring regions, the Arba, the hill country, the Shepliya, the Negev, and the seacoast, the land of the Canaanites and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that the Most High swore to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. At that time I said to you, I am unable by myself to bear you. The Most High your God has multiplied you, so that today you are as numerous as the stars of heaven. May the Most High, the God of your ancestors, increase you a thousand times more and bless you as he has promised. But how can I bear the heavy burden of your disputes all by myself? Choose for each of your tribes individuals who are wise, discerning, and reputable, and I will make them your leaders. You answered me, 
The plan you have proposed is a good one. So I took the leaders of your tribes, wise and reputable individuals, and installed them as leaders over you. Commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officials throughout your tribes. I charged your judges at that time, give the members of your community a fair hearing and judge rightly between one person and another, whether kin or resident alien. You must not be partial in judging. Hear out the small and the great alike. You shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. Any case that is too hard for you, bring to me, and I will hear it. So I charged you at that time with all the things that you should do. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. And for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O God, guide us in your ways, that we may remain unstained by the world. May we ever seek you and sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.